here today at Green Mountain with Terry. KTM gang. Come on back. What's that? Okay, well, <laughs> that was interesting. They didn't seem very uh, upset. They just didn't know if we were supposed to be on this trail or not. Wanted to warn us to watch out, there's a couple horses and whatnot. So, uh, we're trying to meet up with these guys that Terry know. And they said they... They passed them. So we're going the right way and we're not supposed to be here. It should have been clearly marked because it wasn't, so. We'll try to be courteous when we get up to people. The trick is not to go too slow over this kind of crap. Going slower makes it a lot harder for you. stopping on a climb does for you absolutely nothing that's what I'm getting at No, I don't have my electric start today. Battery's drained. Don't fall off this freaking. I want to roll off this little stump where I got my foot. Hell yeah. Oh no. Almost. <laughs> Seven light problems. Oh. He's having problems with his bike staying in front of his face. Holy shit. You good? Oh. Back end hopped a lot on that. Slammed in neutral. Jeez, once you get off the freaking bike, man, it's so hard to get the freaking back on. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, it's always a struggle trying to get back on. You're hitting this bump, that bump. Can't touch the ground, etc. etc. This is 
nice like uh inter intermediate trails though oh no second gear second gear almost fucked me oh, i need to fix my hand guard just twisting my wrist so hard into that freaking guard oh, like i said it's so hard to get back on your bike so i got blown off there i was sitting on the stupid seat Didn't even have to stop. Hey, did you see that trail that went up that way? I did. <sighs> this is so annoying. No speed, no traction. Uh. For fuck's sake. If I would have stopped there, I would have been fucked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my buddy fucks up on that side there, the right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, my fucking tire shot. Oh, man. That's gnar. I would have attempted it. Attempted in bold. See, this kind of stuff isn't too bad because though know it's like though it's overgrown and like fairly small it's not too technical so you're still able to kind of cruise so that kind of stuff isn't isn't too bad the super tight knit technical stuff is kind of a uh, 
a little sketchy to be riding on. I think my dad always told me when we're going down stuff like this, you gotta remember, you gotta come back up at some point. And it's true. This is gonna be a gnarly hill climb. Not too gnarly, but it's gonna be freaking long. Long as hell. The other hill climb we did, I couldn't get freaking traction. It irritated me. So hopefully I don't have that same issue again, but my tire is She's, uh, she's pretty old, let's just say that. But yeah, this will probably be a mile long hill climb. I would guess. But we'll see. I ain't gonna fuck with this thing. Fix it later. See if the batteries charge up. It was. All right. Where the fuck did that come from? Jesus. Big old hole. It just dead stopped me. Come on. I'm embarrassing myself. GoPro. Turn my gas back on. I think I did. Ooh. So what happens when you sit down on a hill climb, man, just try to take a little freaking rest. Launch off your freaking seat. anticipating that you be a little bit more launch here just doing a little short ride today I'm kind of tired and I don't really want to be out all day but Green Mountain I think this place is called it's a uh, 
I say it's our skill level. Um, it's not like Gifford. Gifford is. I think it's, uh, it's a little bit out of my skill level. Um, I think primarily I need a different bike. Uh, I still could do everything that we did, but it was not that enjoyable. And uh, it was, I mean, it was fun. There's a lot of adrenaline and stuff, but here trails are a little bit wider you can kind of get a little bit more used to going over these obstacles with speed or uphills you know or however however you need to um, yeah so green mountain i would say so tohuya is a pretty good like beginner area uh that's not too bad uh, do you have some nice fun stuff but you really have to look for it and it's overgrown and shit like that uh capital forest was our next like main spot uh, that was pretty fun there's a little little more gnarly some better hill climbs lots of fun stuff out there uh i don't think that we're gonna be done with capital i think there's still a lot there that we haven't explored much like the Huya, but so he uh, just kind of kind of got over it then we went to capital i i think this would be like a third step before gifford for sure um this this stuff that i'm going we're going through right now is like all oh, kind of easy repetitive kind of a little bit like uh capital uh, but the stuff that we had just gone through that was pretty fun so i did enjoy some of the crap that we went through today that's definitely recommend this place I forget what I was saying but Green Mountain is pretty enjoyable it's super dusty but other than that the riding is not bad at all it's actually pretty good riding uh, it's some technical oh hit my toe some technical some oh jeez like the trail the trail doesn't like when i say the word technical but uh some some technical and some easy and i don't know it's just it's not bad some uh skinny trails some bigger trails a lot of in, in between trees like this though it's a little sketchy um i hit my hand guard back there it almost ripped me off so you never want to do anything like that but Green Mountain, yeah, check it out, man. So uh, we haven't really gone very far, like Capital or anything like that. But I feel like Capital and Tuya. I think I feel like that's like more like an exploration nowadays than it is to actually go and like work on your skills and such like that. Now, overall too bad nice stress-free day and didn't have to worry about freaking going flying off cliffs nothing man just cruising uh, these guys stop a little bit more than what i'm used to i don't know if i like that but uh, it's nice to catch a little breather every now and then but like the start side of freaking battery is charged up now so we're good but yeah these guys they, they seem to know their way around and they know their bikes so that's cool like just now getting warmed up and we're getting ready to take off I think heading back yeah normally we 
we do like 30 miles minimum. I think we only did about 10 today, so. Really takes a little bit you know getting the groove took last week off first week in like freaking four or five months that didn't go out felt weird whoa way close there <laughs> 